Good morning. Welcome to my thought for the day. Well, a strange thing happened yesterday, which has set me off my on my little train of thought for today. Um, when I was uploading my thought recorded yesterday, I realised that my face looked very dark and that I hadn't turned my light on, which is up in the corner here. Um, and therefore, I looked very... I know I've got very big shadows because I haven't got a light up there. It's not, I'm not in a proper studio. You may have realised that. But not having that light on meant that my whole face looked really very dark. I could have re-recorded, but, but I didn't. And I thought, you know, even in the simplest things of life, we have a choice over how we do them. You know, if, if we get up in the middle of the night, we, we have a choice as to whether we turn a light on or not. A lot would depend on whether there's any light in our house. We have street lights and things that shine in the night and there's, a, there's enough light to see by at night. But in some places it's very dark. And you have the choice. I had the choice whether to turn that light on or not. And I was thinking about choice and I was thinking, how does that apply to our spiritual, our lives, our spiritual lives? And I, I thought about this verse in... Galatians 5 25 which just says if we live by the spirit let us also walk by the spirit if we live by the spirit let us also walk by the spirit and I think you know in our day-to-day -day, uh, everyday life we're confronted all the time with a lot of choices we are born again so we are living by the in the spirit the spirit lives within us and we have we have been changed we are in the kingdom of light but we have a choice as to whether as to how much of that light we live in whether we turn the light on there may be things that we do we think well that's got nothing to do with my spiritual life that's got nothing to do with god um why should i even involve god or even think about god Asking God for wisdom and help with the ordinary everyday tasks of life is, is so important because, yes, we are alive in the Spirit and we're living for Jesus, but we have a choice to what extent we walk in the Spirit. And you know the early Christians, the, the, the Christian faith was called the way because it was a way of life. It was a walk through life. It was, it was an expression in the everyday life of the believer that meant they were walking in the spirit. And when we're walking, we need enough light to see by. When you're standing still and you're not moving and you're not doing very much, you don't need a great deal of light. But when you're walking, you need light, you need enough light to see your steps ahead of you and to, and, and to be safe and not stumble. And Jesus came to give us light. So if we walk by the Spirit, let, if we live it by the Spirit, let us walk by the Spirit, Galatians 5.25. And earlier on in Galatians 5.16, he says, But I say, walk in the Spirit and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. We need to walk in the Spirit. We need to cultivate the presence of God with us all day, every day. And be aware of his presence. And whenever we have choices, things to do, to, to involve the Lord in what we do. Lord, today... Can we be more aware of you? Lord, today, can we live by the Spirit? Can we, we be the people of the way? The way of life. And of course, Jesus said, I am the way. Jesus is the way. He is our example. He is the one who lived out God's life here in the earth. And he did ordinary, everyday things. He had meals with people. He walked in the gardens. He worshipped. He sang psalms. 
He taught the people. He shared his experiences of God with the people around him. He wandered all around. Um, and he, he went down for the festivals to Jerusalem. He did ordinary everyday things for the Jew of his day. And he walked in the Spirit. So, if we live by the Spirit, let us walk by the Spirit. Perhaps it's good to think today, um, how much more in my life can I live and walk in the light of God? Can I walk more in the Spirit than I do at the moment? Are there ways I can change to be more like, more, more spiritual in, in, in my... I really don't know how to express it. It needs a lot of thought, doesn't it? But this simple statement, if we live by the Spirit, let us walk by the Spirit. It does imply quite clearly that it's possible to live in the Spirit and not walk in the Spirit. And that's choice. God doesn't force us to do anything. He invites us to walk with him every day. And he will walk with us as we abide in him. So that's my thought for the day. And it all came from a light that wasn't switched on. <laughs> God bless you. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.